We live in a day and age when drones rule the world, but somehow they have been incapable of taking over, at least for now, one crucial aspect of human activity, the delivery of goods. Will the airbound TRT be the one to achieve that? There are several companies on this planet, operating in various parts of the world, that have turned to drone deliveries. Their projects are relatively limited, for a variety of reasons, but they proved that, at least in some cases, turning to pilotless aircraft to ship a package is a much more efficient way of doing things. Perhaps the most prominent company doing something in this field is the behemoth known as Amazon. The company has been doing drone deliveries for more than two years now, using a drone design called MK27-2, which can travel at 50 miles per hour and reach customers located in a 9-mile radius. Earlier this year, a new and more capable drone was announced, the MK30, it is designed to be quieter than the existing design. It should also be able to reach destinations that are twice as far as the maximum range of its predecessor. Despite these advancements, Amazon is yet to roll out a comprehensive drone delivery system capable of handling the requirements of a lot more customers in a lot more regions. The reasons for that are diverse, and they range from regulatory hurdles to the cost of sending something by drone. The lack of access to some logistics needed for drone to operate, such as launch and landing areas, also contribute to Amazon's drone delivery service being not as widespread as it should have been. But now comes a drone startup called Airbound that promises to revolutionize this industry. Airbound is working on a kind of delivery drone the likes of which the world has not seen before. It is in effect an aircraft that blends the benefits of a blended wing body configuration and a tail sitter design. The blended wing allows the drone to cut down drag and become more efficient in its operation. The tail sitter setup, on the other hand, gives it the ability to rotate its entire frame to fly horizontally or vertically, and eliminates the need for large landing areas. It's not exactly clear what powers the drone, because Airbound doesn't share that info, but we do know a thing or two about its capabilities. And by all accounts, they seem to be exactly what the doctor prescribed. Thanks to a carbon fiber frame and other lightweight components, the airbound tips the scales at just 3.3 pounds when empty. It can carry payloads weighing as much as 2.2 pounds to distances of as much as 23 miles, and at speeds that can reach 62 miles per hour. To date test drones have been flown for thousands of miles, at altitudes of 400 feet, because that's the regulatory ceiling, but we're told the drone could easily reach as much as 6,562 feet. The aircraft has been designed to be able to operate in various weather conditions, but given how nothing is perfect in this world, it does come with limitations. During heavy rainfall or persistent wind gusts of over 19 miles per hour, for instance, the drone will activate an undisclosed failsafe. Those are impressive figures and details, but not as impressive as to really get our blood pumping. But what comes next just might. You see, Airbound claims its product is the world's most efficient delivery drone, both in terms of how much it costs to make, but also in terms of operating cost. More to the point, we're told building one of these gorgeous drones costs just $700, while delivering packages to their destination could cost as little as just a few cents. That's in part owed to the fact that the drone is three times lighter than conventional alternatives, and has four times the aerodynamic efficiency of traditional means. Last week Airbound announced that it was at the receiving end of a $1.7 million seed round led by Lightspeed, with the money to support, in part, the start of production in 2025. The company targets first and foremost the routine medical delivery industry, like say the transport of blood from health centers to testing labs. If they prove they can handle themselves, Airbound TRT drones will likely spread like wildfire and expand to food and grocery delivery duties. As for Amazon, last we heard from it was back in June, when we got word the Federal Aviation Administration granted the MK27-2 the right to be flown by operators who don't have a direct line of sight with it. Amazon did not detail the piece of tech that allows for beyond line of sight control in such a manner that it convinced the FAA, and we haven't been updated on the progress of this project since this summer, 